The first few months of life, sadly, all too fragile. Many women will experience the loss of a pregnancy at this stage, a loss which for some will feel traumatic. In Bristol, that's helped by access to specialist services. The hospitals make sure between them that one unit is always open, even at weekends. This report says that doesn't happen everywhere, but should. It means women can get seen quickly by staff who understand, and can offer the checks they need. The loss of a pregnancy through miscarriage is very common. One in five pregnancies end in miscarriage. That's 168,000 in England each year, and 11 in a thousand pregnancies are ectopic, where a fertilised egg gets stuck and starts growing outside the womb. Julie's had two miscarriages. She's helped write new advice for the NHS. The first time, bleeding, frightened, and upset, she went to A and D. When I was taken up to the gynaecology ward,、um, I was put in a bed there. But unfortunately, the, just due to the placement of the building, the labour ward was directly below. And being summer, because the windows were open, you could hear ladies in labour downstairs. So I found it quite distressing that actually I was in the process of losing my baby when I could hear others who were actually having their babies downstairs. Even with ultrasound images, the picture isn't always clear in early pregnancy. That's why today's report says women need sympathy and clear information. If she knows what to expect and when she can return to work and when she can try for another baby, and all those factors that are just so important to her at the time, then hopefully she'll recover emotionally and physically from the miscarriage much more quickly. Doctors and midwives have welcomed the new guidelines. The aim is to make sure every area is providing the very best care. Brown and Jeffries, BBC News.